Yeah, and that sound nice. That's all yuppies in there. Wow. Let's uh, see if that'll unscrew. Get that shut off valve out of there. Probably should put some PV blaster on that. Just uh, and this is the way to go. Uh, this is a Zep cleaner, Zep bottle. It's like for industrial stuff because that's just must be from getting sucked in when the bottle is hot. But anyway, uh, I've had this for couple years now this bottle and it holds 25 ounces when it's new up that full um i think this is the last of that gallon so i've gone through you know lots of phillips with that fill ups not phillips like the screwdriver um rather than buy it by the can that was a really good idea i think donna actually bought that for me one day i said oh, i need pb blaster and she said well i found a gallon i said well a gallon will work as long as you can find something to put it in okay so there's the screen that's why a lot of these mowers don't have the inline fuel filter in them um they just this is that's what they use so all the dirt stays in the tank, which, you know, that's fine too. Versus, you know, you put an inline filter on, the dirt goes in here. So that's what you could do. If this was broken or, or it got wrecked, uh, just put this in line or one of these, something like, you can get smaller ones in this. You can get them that are like that big, you know, that literally half inch thick and that bigger round sometimes not even that big sometimes they're only an inch around whatever and then you just replace it once a year or twice twice every other year or every other year whatever you want to do so at this point that's out so let's see if we can get any more of the loose shakies yeah there's some more All right. Now the reason I pulled this out is if I if I was to leave it in there and then I put a dozen or so of these nuts in there shaking it around it could destroy that. So you can do anything uh at that that's like a pipe thread so you have to be careful what you put in there. If you have a plug, you could use a plug. Uh, the bolt, if you were to use a bolt, you could get yourself in trouble because that could really mess the threads up. I'm looking for a plug that I'm not finding. So, oh, maybe. Definitely not. Much smaller, much smaller. Here's one that's smaller, but it's still got a little nipple on it. But we might be able to do something with that. That might be easier to plug that. And then I can beat the inside of this up. Okay, so we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to redneck this. Uh, Yankee Ingenuity. There's other names, but you're not allowed to say them because... You know, people don't like some of those terms, but whatever. So, that looks like it's going to work there. So, what I'm going to do is I'll take a little piece of it, cut it off. Ta da! This is just weed eater hose, weed eater or, or um, chainsaw. rest away because nothing is worse than 
having everything everywhere and not being able to find it when you want it because it was everywhere and then it fell on the floor or went behind there or whatever. Okay, so this is going to thread in there. That's good. So then we put this in there and we could put another bolt right in, in the end here. But what I'm going to do after I know that's on there nice and tight, which it is, is I'm just going to bend it over like this and I'm going to zip tie it right there. It's like kinking a garden hose, right? Everybody at some point must have kinked a garden hose. Maybe not, but I can only assume what you know what assuming does makes an ass out of you and me. Probably not allowed to say that, right? Okay. Assume. Gotcha. So there we go. So pull that up nice and snugly. So that's kinked. Now I should be able to. A good shake. Okay. Should be able to put some cleaning solution in here. I'll hold it over there. And let's see if it, uh, it should, you should see some come into that when it gets there. I think it's just showing up. And you only need, um, maybe a quarter to half inch in the bottom of this. That way it can actually do some business when you're shaking it about and doing your hokey pokey. So that is not leaking, which is good. And I was actually, as the liquid gets into the threads, I'm able to turn that a little tighter. Just like lubrication oil, you know. And what I'll do is when I let it set, I'll set it on this so that if it does leak, for whatever reason, It'll leak back in there. So that is that. Now, what you do is I normally, like I said, use like a half dozen. And, and I just use them all the same. You could use these square ones. They are sharper. So maybe for, for this experiment, maybe we'll use these sharp ones. So again, you did, you want to count, the reason I count them out is so that I know I get the same number out as I put in. Which, yeah, I know you should hear them rattling around in there. But six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Didn't know I could count the high, did ya? Okay, so there should be four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one to grow on. Not really. Just baker's baker's dozen is thirteen, but that was just twelve of them. So, and again, you you'll hear them rattling around. I mean, one one bolt in there. I mean, you could hear this stuff. I mean, that's a lot of dirt that was built up in there. It, 100 years, not 100 years, but you know, sat around for five years or 10 years or however long it sat, it takes a toll. So now, where did you put the cover to the gas tank? You just took it off. I saw you do it. Oh, I see what you did with it. You put it over there. Okay, so we put this back on here. Now these two holes here on top don't go through. That's what actually, these two holes here, that sets in there like this and it bolts the gas tank to this cover. So it will come out this hole on top here. Okay. Okay. So you might have to shake this 
There goes our dirt, or some of it. Let's get rid of it. In the garbage bale. We'll clean that up later when we clean this surface. And don't forget to do the top as well as the bottom. But. All right. So that was just, you saw, just for a little teeny tiny bit. And it still feels terrible in there. So I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up further. And then we're going to let it set. Uh, and just just let the rust and gunk, varnish, whatever material is in there, let it soften so that those abrasive nuts can pound them off the walls. I mean, we really just want the loosest stuff to come out so that it doesn't clog the filter or heaven forbid, some of it is smaller. And and so now in the bottom of this is a lot of gunk um, from prior parts cleaning. So we're not gonna put that in there. Gunk always settles, right? Normally, okay. And this is probably just about half full. So we'll set that there, set that there. And we'll let it set. I'll come back to it in a couple hours and uh, we'll see how she is.